Hello everyone, this is a short video to show you how to participate in a Twitter chat. Here in Hoopa Unified, we have a Twitter chat every Tuesday from 8 p.m. to 8.20 p.m. And a Twitter chat is simply a way to have a conversation with other like-minded educators on a topic you're interested in. Uh, Twitter chat is a great way to grow your personal learning network. It's a great way to be inspired to get ideas uh, from other educators maybe something that you're teaching on or you're interested in teaching maybe a way to improve a office procedure uh, or take a risk and to see others that are also taking that risk and thus inspire you to also take that chance and and try something new to participate in the twitter chat the first thing you're going to want to do is log into twitter if you're not sure how to log into twitter or create an account uh, we encourage you to check out our other videos that are located on the Harupa IT YouTube channel once you've logged in, you'll want to use the hashtag JUSDShares. And when you do, you will see that there's different options located along the top. You could search the hashtag for all the top tweets. Those are the ones that have gotten the most likes and the most retweets. The hashtag simply takes all the information that's coming down your Twitter feed and breaks it up into only those tweets that have the hashtag JOST shares. So you could look at the top tweets, you could look at the live tweets, that would be everything that's being shared using the hashtag JOST shares. You could look at specific accounts using the hashtag JOST shares, only the photos that are being shared using that hashtag, or only the videos. And you can see there's some other options there as well. For the Twitter chat, You'll simply log on at 8, 8 p.m. at night, and a host will post a question. And typically, the questions look like question one, state your name, and maybe what is your favorite ice cream. And then the host will tweet that out. The host will make sure they use the hashtag JOST shares. And so you look something similar to this. And when you see that question, that would be your cue to click on the tweet button and type in your answer. And typically what we do is we type in answer one. So everybody knows you're answering question one. And then you'll answer it. My name is Josh. My favorite ice cream is chocolate. The key and some people forget this when they're first starting, is you have to use the hashtag JOST shares. That's the biggest thing that some folks forget about, but if you use the hashtag JOST shares and then click on the tweet button, it will post, and it may take a couple seconds, depending on how fast your internet it is, but when it does, and you're looking at the live section, you may have to click on the new result that came in, and it will show your answer there. And once you see that, or if you see others, you can engage in a conversation with them by clicking on the reply button. And you can see I'm gonna reply to this person's tweet. And maybe I wanna say, I like that ice cream too. Something of that nature would it depend on the, conversa uh, the conversation that's being had. And then you'll tweet that out. You could also retweet to show that you agree with that or like it. Uh, you may want to retweet and then add a comment. But that is how you engage in a conversation via Twitter chat. Again, it's during a specified time. Um, it's on specific topics. Usually there's a host, and the host every five minutes will post a question, and that's your cue to answer that question using answer one, two, three, four, whatever the question you're answering. And then don't forget to use that hashtag JWST shares. Make sure you're looking at the live feed so you can see what everybody else is posting. And I encourage you to try it. I think you'll find it engaging. And I'm sure you will learn something and be inspired, get some new ideas for things to do in your office or your classroom. Hope to see you Tuesday nights from 8 to 8.20 for JOST, JOST shares Twitter chat.